Hello and welcome to RC Hacker. My name's Mark and today I'm going to do a bit of range testing with the FR Sky radio equipment. Now I'm not doing open air range testing for this, I'm just I'm doing a test through the trees. I want to see how far I can get with this radio gear through the trees. Now I've got the FR Sky DHT module and uh, over here, I'll put it up on a little screen up here, over here I've got the D8R D8R2 Plus receiver. So this is a telemetry system, so it, it uh, sends information back and forth. And on, on, the, on the radio here, you can see uh, I've got a telemetry readout there, okay? It's right up, right up in the 90s at the moment. Now I've also got, on the back here, I've got one of these uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi boosters. It's not connected at the moment, so I'm, I'm going to, first I'm going to do some testing without it, and then when I run out of range with the stock gear, I'm going to connect this and see how much further I get. So, um, I'll just note also, as I move the stick here, you can see the servo move there, and if I turn the radio off, you'll see that that's the fail-safe kicking in there. So, worst case, that's what happened. The, the little uh, servo will go over to the left. Now, I set that manually. I chose that setting there. All right, so enough mucking about. Let's go and see how far this stuff will go. All right, let's go. Let's see how far we get before this signal starts dropping out. Uh, just looking back there. We've gone past a few trees already, and our signal's down to... Our signal's down to about 70, 75 already. Okay, so moving on. Now you can see now our signal's at, you know, it's getting down to about 50, a little bit less. Now by default, normally you'd have alarms kicking in below the RSSI of 50, so you'd have some alarms going off, but for the purpose of this video, I've disabled them. So let's keep moving on. Now, I've come about twice as far as my last point and I've still got a good signal there. Um, of course, I can't tell whether that servo's moving properly right now or not, but because it's not saying no data down the bottom, I'm assuming that it is. We'll, we'll have to check this. You'll be able to see right now whether that's got any jitter or not or whether that servo's move, moving nice and smoothly. So let's keep going. Where are we? About 39 and 39 there, floating around there. Just check if we that's got um, if that's got nice smooth move, movement still. Now I know this. There it goes. No data. We've dropped out, and it's worth noting we've just come behind a few more trees here as well, and probably just snuck in behind the house there. Oh, now that I've turned around, we've got signal again. Let's... I want to see what this does at the limits. So... When it starts flashing that no data, I want to see what's actually happening here. If I... If I... Oh, we've definitely got no data there. I'll just move the antenna down a bit. Yeah, we're still getting a signal. Alright, I'm guessing that the failsafe should have kicked in now. And, uh... It's as about as far as I'm going to get. Yeah, and she's picked it up again. So the minimum value that you're going to get on this RSSI is about 38. It's just flashing no data there. So I'm, I'm interested to see whether that's going to jitter or not. All 
All right, enough faffing about. Let's get to the point where we've definitely got a signal. So we have a signal there. And now let's hook up the, uh, let's hook up our Wi-Fi booster. Now the trick with these, the trick with these is you cannot turn them on without having a uh, antenna plugged into them. If you turn them on without anything plugged in, they will burn out. Well, that's what they say anyway, but I'm not going to test it. So that's all, it's all plugged in there, got, got the output. Well, it says to the radio on the other side of this and then to the antenna. Now I've got my power here, I've got an old 6 volt battery in here. This is uh, apparently 6 volts, so we'll plug them in. I don't know how clearly you can see that. There's an LED there, and to me, it's flashing quite fast. But now let's have a look at our signal. So our signal has improved, not a huge amount, but it's definitely better than the than the 38 that we had before. Now you'll notice that as I stopped. The RSSI values of, as I moved along weren't linear. I went, it was down at 50 and then I went twice as far as again and I was only down at 40. So it sort of dropped off quite a lot with that first bit of walking I did. Now, I've run out of room to go this way, so I'm gonna have to go, I've got a path going down here and we'll just um, go down this path. This is where I lost the signal before completely. without the booster and I've got a signal there now with the booster let's keep moving down this little path here it's a little bit overgrown everything grows like grows like nothing else in the jungle here this is my hummingbird alley I've got a whole lot of plants planted here just for the hummingbirds Right, now I've got, there's a lot of trees between us now and almost, there's a bit of ground as well. So I've come a fair way down and I've still got a signal. Right, let's try and move down a bit further. This is a goat track. I think that's about as far as I'm going to get, and oh, there we go! Look at that, perfect. I've got stabilise this camera a bit. I did have an intermittent no data coming up there, so yeah, it looks like I'm out of range, and I'm. Well and truly in the jungle now. If I turn around and put my body in between. Yeah, that's no data, no signal. So let's quickly shoot back up here. So yeah, in summary, um, that's pretty impressive. Like, I went through easy, through 200 meters worth of uh, vegetation and stuff like that with the FR Sky Gear, and then with the booster, I managed to come down this path, and I've come down a fair way. Uh, I've come down 10 meters or so down this little path, and I'm definitely. It's not just trees in between me and the uh, receiver now. It's actually. Uh, there's a bit of earth and stuff, so that signal is still getting through. That one milliwatt signal with that booster is still getting through. So, yeah, there you go. Make of, make of this what you want. And for me, the reason I've done this is because I want to fly. 
I want to fly my little uh, tricopters and drones and stuff through the jungle here and uh, do a bit of FPV work through the trees. I've got a hell of a lot of work to do with the actual video signal, but it looks like I've got a solution for the radio signal. So, yeah, it's been RC Hacker and cheers. If you want more information, particularly information on the uh, FR Sky Telemetry and how to set that up with one of these radios and get the display going on here, and also for the 9X, because the 9X board is pretty much exactly the same as what's in here, so my, my little uh, tutorial should apply. So have a look at uh, rchacker.com up here, and uh, this, this link up here will take you to my website and how to do that. And uh, cheers, thanks for watching.